Welcome back. For decades, Florida was a top three spot for making movies and TV shows, but now Florida film workers are forced to go out of state for jobs. Yeah, ABC Action News investigator Adam Walser looks into what's behind the problem and what it could mean to the local economy. Action Mario. In a downtown Tampa parking garage, shooting is underway for no postage required. An independent film putting 300 people to work. Action! Charlene Clossy is producing and stars in the film. It's challenging to make a movie anywhere. It's even more challenging to make a movie where incentives aren't happening. A 10% incentive from Hillsborough County helped bring the movie to Tampa, but Clossy considered filming elsewhere since Florida currently has no film incentives. We're responsible to our investors. This map shows Florida is one of only 16 states that currently has no film industry rebates or tax credits. Georgia, Georgia, Los Angeles, Georgia, Texas, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Georgia's cleaning our clocks. Georgia is cleaning our clocks. Film Florida President Kelly Page says there's a steady stream of film industry employees leaving Florida. The mill workers, the craft services, the plumbers, the carpenters. Georgia's incentives, which can reach 30%, persuaded Ben Affleck and Leonardo DiCaprio to build a replica of Ybor City in Georgia for their upcoming movie, which is set in Tampa. It hasn't always been like that. The state approved $269 million in film tax credits in 2010. That was supposed to last six years. But the money ran out almost immediately. The reason the Florida Office of Film and Entertainment awarded incentives on a first-come basis with no consideration of the number of Floridians hired or the merit of the projects. Some money even went to companies that produced video games and commercials. Lawmakers recently tried to renew incentives. We have over 100,000 people in the film industry in the state of Florida. But those efforts failed, largely because the Koch brothers backed Americans for Prosperity lobbied against incentives. We still uh, remain in opposition primarily because we're opposed to this um, incentive program as a whole. We reached out to incoming Florida House Speaker Richard Corcoran, who helped kill the most recent bill in committee. But he didn't respond. This light oh, towards camera. Proponents say millions invested in Florida films generate billions in return. <laughs> Consider winter and hope. If film incentives in Florida had not been available. The Dolphin Tail would never happen. And the lasting economic impact can be huge. Here at Clearwater Aquarium, they had about 75,000 visitors a year before the first Dolphin Tail movie. Last year, they had 800,000 visitors. When you take an industry and drop it in your area, you have a mushroom effect on the economy. Our movies have created 11,000 jobs in our county. So to the average person, many individuals walking around right now have jobs they don't know were actually created by the TV and film industry. Industry leaders hope lawmakers approve new ways to keep the movies and tourists coming back. And let's come up with something that's the state can handle and swallow and that keep our people employed. This is not about glitz, it's not about glamour, it's about commerce and the economy. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.